Welcome to the HMG Executive Leadership Spotlight. Here's our host, Hunter Muller. Hello, and welcome to the HMG Spotlight. I'm Hunter Muller, founder and CEO of HMG Strategy. I'm here with Todd Cackley. Todd is the Vice President and Chief Information Officer at Textron. Todd, welcome to the Spotlight. Thanks, Hunter. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, Todd, you'd have to agree we're in an incredible time of innovation and disruption and invention. And when you think of technology, the technology executive, the technology leader, leading digital, leading transformations in the enterprise, what are the top one, two, or three things that you're most excited about, most engaged, and proud, most proud about? Well, yeah. So, so we're certainly focused on a lot of transformation here in Textron. And I think if I were to categorize the top three areas of focus and, and, and accomplishments, I think one would be continuing to drive a digital transformation across the organization with a strong focus on engineering and manufacturing, and continue to bring new capabilities to our organization that allow us to be able to, to work across every life cycle state of a new product development introduction into service. Uh, that would include taking advantage of capabilities like generative AI as part of that process. Uh, so really focusing on enabling a model-based enterprise. That's something that we're really uh, uh, excited about here and continue to focus on that. Now, I think as part of that, an, under, an underlying part of that digital transformation is our ability to continue to build into our product set capabilities that enable um, the digital um, sensory data off of our product, being able to create a connected fleet or a connected type of product experience where we also can take advantage of that uh, additional data insight on our products, not only to improve our uh, ability to support, build, and maintain these types of uh, products going forward, but also provide a value-added experience for our customers, owners, operators of our products. Um, we're seeing that uh, today in our, in our specialized vehicles um, uh, business, particularly with uh, products like PACE technology, which is ena enabling our owners, operators of our vehicles, whether it's a, an easy-go golf car or even a Jacobson lawnmower, to be able to do things like power management of electrical vehicles, um, get uh, data or insights around performance and operations, and uh, continues to provide additional capabilities for us to expand and continue to stay connected to our customers. And then I think our, our the third focus, it's always a uh, focus here, is around talent management, continuing to focus on building the skills and capabilities that are necessary for us to um, be able to drive the workforce of the future, not only in information technology, but also building capabilities that allow us to continue to attract, retain, and develop talent across all of our functions. Thanks for that, Todd. Thanks. Really interesting uh, uh, explanation there. Could you set a little context, how large the scale Textron is operating in, on and the various business units? So we're a global organization. We have uh, about 36,000 employees worldwide um, and just under uh, $14 billion of revenue uh, tracking for 2024. The, um, the business, uh, we, are, we are a conglomerate that has uh, a mix of both aerospace and defense and commercial uh, manufacturing businesses. Uh, we're largely um, centered around the, the North America region here in the US with most of our operations, but we do have a global footprint, particularly in our automotive business. Um, so our, our businesses are structured such that we have different business lines around uh, commercial aviation, um, defense, uh, specialized vehicles, I mentioned automotive. And uh, it's it's interesting to be able to work across a multi-industrial uh, conglomerate like Textron because uh, we have, each business has its own varying set of demands and needs and uh, the pace of the businesses are different. Uh, the pace of building hundreds of fuel tanks a day versus a couple hundred helicopters a year are two different tack times. Uh, so it's it's always, uh, it always uh, 
uh, something that excites me about coming to work every day and really getting an appreciation for having such a variety of uh, businesses underneath this portfolio. You know, Todd, you've had an amazing career going on 17 years at Textron. How would you describe your success? What What is the formula? Well, I, I think I've been fortunate to, to work in an organization that has a uh, deep appreciation for talent development and promoting from within. I think I'm a product of that. And as a, are many others across our Textron leadership organization. Uh, so you know, being able to come into an organization like Textron mid-career, uh, just uh, under 17 years ago as a program manager and working my way through a number of roles, taking uh, uh, decisive moves in my career to be able to develop the skills and capabilities that would ultimately uh, build me into the type of leader that I could aspire to a role like this. And uh, certainly very, uh, very appreciative of that and, and uh, benefited from the talent strategy. So I think that's a, a key to the success and just having such a wonderful team here that, uh, quite frankly, uh, makes my job look easier every day. But, uh, you know, they come in every day and uh, com commit to uh, excellence. And, you know, every day is the Super Bowl here. We come in and 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 we put it all in the field and, and uh, very happy with the, the results. I love that. What does that mean? Let's unpack that. Every day is the Super Bowl here. What does that mean? You know, the try to instill a high performing uh, team concept where everyone understands that, you know, we, we come in here as a team and we need to come in and, and do our best every day. Um, sometimes, you know, the game doesn't necessarily always end in, in, in our favor. <laughs> you have harder days than others, but you come in wanting to wanting to win every day. And whether that's, uh, you know, internally to our the, the constituents that we support across our organization or our customer base coming in and really making a difference every day um, and coming in to win. Uh, it's, it's, it's part of what uh, gets me up in the morning every day to come in here. So that's outstanding. What was it about early on the vision and mission at Textron that caught your eye and what is it about it today? I just love the focus on the products and I love the the focus, I, I really enjoy hearing the uh, the customer testimonials of customers that really um, are passionate about our products, are passionate about the uh, the brands, and being able to be part of that. And you know, there's a piece of it as well. We 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 certainly have uh, our defense part of the the business as well, and and the role that we have, whether it's in um, the uh, uh, air rescue uh, in and search. Our defense business certainly has a focus on uh, a mission of preserving freedom and providing uh, stability across uh, across not only the U.S. but across the world and some of the products that we we uh, deliver. And, and that that mission is is very important. We we preserve freedom. We we save lives in our products, and and some of our products are are. Um, you know, very recreational as well. I mean, you know, playing golf or enjoying time on 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 those products. It's uh, it's it's, it's certainly something to, to, you can relate to, and you can relate to the the mission of the the organization, the mission of our customer, and um, that's something that that excites me about Textron. Great stuff. I love the conglomerate. The very complex, different businesses, very very different markets. Talk to us more about the golf uh, aspect and wrapping technology around the, that those products or services. Yeah, so um, really excited about uh, the opportunities in our specialized vehicles uh, business, uh, particularly around our pace technologies. Um, uh, they they've really advanced a, a capability there with um, uh, tying in the the aspect of software into the, the, the golf uh, car experience. So having that ability to to have you know the, the GPS tracking of your, your game and have access to um, be able to track your score or to be able to use the uh, the, the, the capabilities to uh, order your your lunch or your your concessions while you're on the on the golf course. But that 
that's just one aspect of, of a connected vehicle. And there's the ability to take that and, and drive that even further to uh, provide information to the, the fleet uh, operators, the, the ones that sustain the actual golf cars to understand how the, the power management's uh, being uh, uh, being utilized across uh, a day-to-day -day operation on a golf course, the whole golf course management of the fleet. And then again, our, our, our internal insights as well to be able to take that information and to understand how we can make better design decisions or uh, engineer the products differently just based on customer utilization and continue to, to be closer to the customer experience. And I think that the, the data in itself is, uh, closing that gap where we actually have a better relationship with our customers through through data. Exciting stuff, Todd. Thanks for that. Uh, can you comment at all on the recent victory or business win uh, regarding helicopters in the defense area? Yeah, so um, we've uh, we're continuing to focus on um, the future long range assault aircraft, which is the the. Uh, Army Futures modernization and replacement to the Blackhawk. Uh, we are we are progressing with that program and continuing to to to, to demonstrate that we have the um, that we have the capability and uh, that that program is progressing well. I I uh, look forward to moving that beyond just the engineering manufacturing design phase and and starting to move into the next phases of that program, but uh, we are um, we are very busy here at uh, Textron and Bell, Bell particularly, helping build out the digital enterprise to be able to provide for that connected customer, connected um, supply base uh, environment, uh, an ecosystem that allows us to be able to, when we get into the ultimate uh, manufacturing of those future aircraft, to have the the underpinning of the technology in place to be able to support the engineering and manufacturing of those. I love the way you think, Todd, the way you articulate your business uh, strategy and models. Uh, in closing, your leadership style, you, I have a sense of humility in your delivery. Uh, that's an interesting point of view. Talk to us a little about your leadership style, humility, and the mentorship program that I think is truly unique that you uh, have in your organization. Well, I've been uh, very fortunate, as I mentioned, through my 16 and a half years here at Textron, I've had really good mentors that advocated on my behalf that allowed me to get into opportunities where I could move into and, as and aspire towards roles like this. Uh, and then part of my journey was being a divisional CIO in a couple of our businesses as well. Um, so that was, I was very fortunate. And, and I feel that at this point in my career that I have a, I have a, role to continue to give back and to, to particularly when it comes to developing talent and future leaders and putting uh, providing the, the right mentorship at all levels of the organization to um, to share and pay forward some of the lessons learned that I've had throughout my career. And um, I, I'm very, um, it's something that I do um, that I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about taking time, whether it's individuals within my organization. I've uh, taken on some networked opportunities to, to mentor uh, friends and colleagues, uh, friends and family as well. It's just, I feel that in this state of my career that I've been very uh, fortunate and it's the right thing to do uh, to pay forward. Uh, any, any words of wisdom or advice that I can pass along. Great stuff, Todd. Love the interview. Again, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, an amazing story at Textron, an amazing career ascent story, amazing leadership story. And again, thank you for being engaged with the HMG Strategy Global Network, our summit model, our GLIA, our Global Leadership Institute, where we recognize you as a CIO of the year in the recent Dallas Summit uh, in 2024. And looking forward to seeing you again uh, at a summit soon. Yes, I look forward to it as well, Hunter.